Hi guys, I just wanted to walk you through setting up and connecting a Twilio account to Pipeline. It takes less than five minutes and this is going to be necessary so that you can use all of our voice uh, controls. Everything from the auto dialer to texting uh, to the ringless voicemail. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to keep Pipeline open on this Twilio account settings page. You're going to want to open up another tab and go to Twilio.com. If you're not sure how to open up another tab, Click Control T on your keyboard and it'll automatically open it up. Then you're going to go TWILIO.com. Once you're there, click the red sign in button. Enter in your info, and then it's once you enter in your info, uh, it's going to ask you to verify your phone number. Uh, spend just a moment to do that, it'll send you a text message. You'll enter in the code that it sends you and you're in. You have a Twilio account. Now it's going to take just a moment to connect the Twilio account to Pipeline. So first question it asks you is do you write code? The answer, even if it's yes, you're going to want to click no. Um, then click get a trial number. Uh, if you don't like the number it automatically assigns you, you can spend just a moment uh, kind of sorting through. It'll allow you to put in different prefixes and different types of numbers and you can find one that you do like. I'm just, for this example, I'm just going to go with the one that it assigns me. Uh, then, the very first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to copy the account SID number by clicking on the little page icon to the right. You're then going to go to your pipeline account, so click the pipeline tab, and paste it in where it asks for the account SID number. Okay. Uh, go back to your Twilio account and copy the authorization token, again by clicking the little page icon to the right. Uh, then go back to your pipeline account, paste it in where it says authorization token. So far so good, right? Um, and then the final thing uh, for this page is you're going to want to do the same thing for your phone number that you selected. So copy your phone number and paste it in where it asks for the phone number on your pipeline account. Include the plus one uh, if you're in North America. Include the entire phone number. Okay. Then you're going to want to click the three dots on the left hand side over in the upper left hand corner. Okay. Uh, to make this next process a little bit easier, I want you to pin the, you'll click the little push pin next to programmable voice, phone numbers, and runtime. Okay. From there, I want you to click on uh, the active number that you have there. Uh, so it should be, you know, in my case, it's plus one nine one zero. But you'll click in your number, and then go back to pipeline. What you're going to do is you're going to copy your voice webhook link, and you're going to overwrite the link that's in where it says call comes in. Now we're already halfway there. We're 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 getting there. Then you're going to go back to Pipeline, copy the messaging webhook, and overwrite the link where it says message comes in. Okay. All right. So we're getting there. Uh, then click Tools and go to where it says TWIML Apps. Uh, click the red button. Now, what I want you to do is uh, label it Auto Dialer. Then I want you to copy the final link in Pipeline and paste it in here. And where it says voice URL field and then click save. Okay. Now there's one final step. Click the auto dialer uh, app and copy the SID. Okay. We'll use that later. Then go ahead and on the left hand side click runtime. Click function. Click Twilio Client Quick Start. Paste that app SID that you just had. Okay. Then copy your number again, including the plus one, paste the number, and click Save. Okay. The final thing is you have to copy the compatibility token that it gives you and paste it back into Pipeline. So you'll click back into Pipeline, paste it there, click Save. You're done. You're now connected. <laughs> uh, there is one final thing that you have to do, 
and that is uh, before you do your test call you have to upgrade Twilio this is super simple this is like upgrading any other account that you have all you have to do is click this yellow upgrade uh, link in the upper right hand corner fill out your uh, questionnaire you don't have to put a ton of money on it it's going to ask for twenty dollars initially that'll actually probably last you a few months uh, worth of using this system all the calls all the messages you could do for a few months once you upgrade your Twilio account then you can go back here and do a Twilio test call just to make sure everything's working and of course if you have any trouble with this just let us know thanks a lot